Hi there and welcome back to John's Watch Joint. Please excuse the noise in the background today guys. We have lots of roadworks going on at the bottom of the street just now. I could ask the guys to stop but I'm likely to get a spade across the back of the head and I'll be buried in concrete and never found again so that's just not going to happen. Today we have a beautiful little Boltney for you, the S2049 and it's a watch that takes me back six or seven years. I remember at that time playing around with the Seiko 5 series, the SNK809, which turned out to be even too small for my wrist, and that little crown was just far too fiddly. And then I tried the SNZ G15, but at 41mm it was kind of like a dinner plate on my wrist, so I needed something in between. I eventually tried the Hamilton Khaki, and I just didn't get on with it. The lungs were too long, and that crown was too large. It was a beautiful looking watch, but it just wasn't the right fit. But this guy might be the right option. So, how is he going to get on today? Let's find out. So this is the Boltony S2049 and I'd like to say a big thank you to Boltony UK for providing this watch to the channel with a substantial discount. Of course, Boltony have not influenced the content in this video and the opinions and conclusions reached here are mine and with that said, Let's get on with it. First of all, let's look at the dimensions of this watch. Now, 39mm might not sound right to a lot of people. However, the shape of the bezel and the style of the case has everything to do with it. So, for example, when I looked at the SNZG at 41mm, it was all dial and it was just far too big. This one isn't. The way they've actually encapsulated the dial of this watch with the style of this bezel makes it wear slightly smaller. It wears more like a 38mm and I think it's just got that sweet spot just right, especially with this type of dial. So diameter is 39mm, the lug to lug is 46.8mm, it's only 12.2mm thick and the lug width is 20mm. All the right stuff. You're also looking at a water resistance of 100 meters, not 30 or 50. 100 again is on that sweet spot. It has a slightly domed sapphire crystal, so it's not flat, and it does have a clear AR coating as well. So you don't get any of these purple or blue reflections of this thing either. So those dimensions are really good. Of course, it's powered by the Seiko NH35, and it does have a day complication, and it really fits well on that face. Some people say they don't like a date, but with a field watch, I like to have a date. And because I'm older, I'm always forgetting what the date is anyway, so I need the date. So let's take a closer look at this guy. Yeah, as can be seen from those video shots here, this watch is actually very well proportioned, very well sized indeed. Lovely lug to lug for my wrist. My wrist size for your information is 6.75 inches, roughly 17.2 centimeters. It means that anybody down to around about six and a half inches, even as far up to seven and three quarter inches, is going to get away with the strap provided. You can see where I'm sitting here. I've tried it on a couple of different strap sizes. Yesterday it was really, really warm, so I had it slightly looser, and today it's cooler again with the rain, so I'm wearing it slightly tighter and as you get with all leather straps you'll start to see the wear on them talking about the strap they are a little bit tougher than they used to be but you can see it's breaking in already it is supple but i think they were just a bit too supple before and maybe they would be prone to disintegrating at the edges and i think that's what they've been looking at so 
well done to Baldini for checking that one out. You would have seen in some of the shots as well in the sunlight. You can't quite replicate it in here. Maybe there you can catch it. There is a slight brown tinge to this when you catch it in the light. And it really is nice. It's almost like a bronzy copper tone to this watch. So it's not quite black when you see it in certain angles. Especially in the real sunlight. Not that we get much here. But there is a certain colour in the background there and I really do like that so it's not just a flat black you can see it's a sector dial and you can catch those colours there, you've seen them the centre circle there is flat but then you've got a radial brush round those main indices really nicely done and as you can see it's a very simple date aperture as well and it keeps everything nice and symmetrical I do like that, above the pinion is just Boltony and then below it is automatic no mention of the water resistance at all because there's no room in the dial They've been very cognizant of that, and that makes it really nice and balanced. Beautiful sword-style hands there, but at the end of it, they're kind of like a, a syringe style as well. Really nice. And that second hand, it really it gives a, a feel of a medical instrument. It's the kind of thing you see in a medical lab, red tip to the end of it, and that lovely little counterbalance. I really do like that. It reminds me of the old Salter skills you used to get. I used to come from the health service, etc., when I started working, and I remember all these kind of things. So it is really nice. It is a busy dial, but that's the kind of thing you expect with a field watch, and I think they've got it just right. Beautiful reho there. Captures the light and throws it around the dial itself in certain lights, as you can see there, and it just radiates around that whole dial. Of course, Boltony do their crystals like no other. Very, very slight dome. It's a double dome. There's no distortion at all. Very clear and lovely to see. And that clear AR coating is doing a wonderful job. One thing I do like about this watch is they've went away from that bead blasted finish. You now have a really fine brushed surface on this watch. Look at the quality of the brushing on that. It's a satin like brushing. It's very, very well done. You see they're horizontal there. There's no polished edges on this at all. And everything's done just to the nth degree. All the edges are just nice and rounded. There's nothing sharp. Beautiful turn down so it sits beautifully on the wrist. And you've got a concentric brushing on the top. And you come round here, you've got a very flat crown on this one, which is very easy to grip. That straight edge makes it extremely easy to grip. You can catch it no problem. And the NH35 is absolutely no problem in this watch. Easy to hack. Set it and change it. Pop to the first position. You can change the date over. No issues at all. Nice and smooth. And there you go back in. No issues at all. Lovely and smooth. Really nicely done. And I just think the proportions of the hands, and especially the second hand, going all the way out to that minute track, just spot on. And you can see how busy that minute track is. Got sub seconds in there as well. Now, what we want to see, of course, is how the loom performs in this watch. So let's go to the cupboard of doom. Okay, we are back in the cupboard of doom, and what we have here is the Boltony khaki if you want to call it that lovely little field watch at 39 millimeters bgw9 super luminova punching well above its weight here evenly applied even though these markers are not applied everything's just printed on and i tell you what for such a watch it's punching well above its weight really isn't it can't really say fairer than that excellent job boltony it does stay all night too very well done back to the studio so yet again, Boltony survived the cupboard of doom with flying colours. And that's the thing about Boltony. When it comes to luminescence, you don't have to worry. When it comes to clarity of crystal and anti-reflective coatings, you don't have to worry. When it comes to finishing on the watch, you don't have to worry. I've taken the watch off its strap, and I'll get back to the strap in a second. But you just have a look round this watch. Just look at the quality of the finishing on here. It is absolutely superb. Even between the lugs. You get that vertical brushing in there. There's nothing missed out. The finishing on the end of those lugs. Nothing sharp. Nice and rounded off. All the way around to the crown itself. My only criticism always with Boltony is they don't sign that crown. I don't know why they don't do it. I keep saying it, but they just won't do it. But look at that anti-reflective coating working there. And that's the blue of the screen. It's not blue. It's the blue of the screen of my computer in front of me. But everything is impeccably well done, but it's understated. There's nothing you have to worry about. 
absolutely superb. Now I'll get back to the strap just now. And the good thing about the watch this time is that what they've done here, they always sign the back of their straps, genuine leather, and they usually have something on the back like Boltony. But this time they've actually made the finish on the buckle and tang pretty much the same as the watch. For the last few times what they've had is a different finish on here to here, but they've matched it this time. So hopefully that's a sign of the future. They're listening to folk. Because I don't like it when they just go ahead and do a sandblast on here. When they do a really nice finish here. I like them to be the same. And they've done that. Again it's not signed. It's something I'd really love to see them do. A little B here. And a little B there. It would be really nice. It would just finish things off really nicely. But the straps are. They're decent straps. You're not going to want to throw them away. You can use them either on this watch or another watch. And as you can see, they've actually got one fixed keeper and they've got one that moves as well. So that's no issue at all. But what we're going to do just now is we're going to get this guy on some other straps and let you see how this thing looks on other straps as well. So here we have it on a grey military strap. Looks rather cool. Sets off the dial really nicely. Here we have it on another colour. This is kind of a grey strap with a green colour through it. Really is quite different. So this is your normal grey. Whereas this is a green grey. I can't describe this colour. Maybe a metal green. But it looks really nice with this watch. Really sets it off nicely. That red and green should never be seen. It works really well in this. And finally we're going to put it on a strap that I grew up with in the 70s. A bun strap. I know it really annoys a lot of folk, but you know what, guys? I don't care. I wear watches the way I like to wear watches because it's fun for me. It's my personal preference. So I didn't care, as you see here. There we go. So, different look for the watch, whether you like it or not. Just shows it in a different light. Alright, back to the studio and some conclusions. So this is the Boltony S2049 39mm field watch. I'd like to thank Boltony UK for sending me the watch and also for giving me such a good discount on the watch. It really is appreciated. Of course you can get this in two colours. I'll bring up the site just now. You can get it in blue with the tan strap and you also get it in black like you have here with the black strap. Prices on the Boltony site you can see there just now but you can get a £15 discount if you apply the code JWJ15. Of course, those prices will be really competitive again after the weekend, after the AliExpress sale finishes. So I will leave links down below to where you can get this watch on AliExpress in the meantime. But after that, they will be very competitive. As far as my final thoughts on this watch are concerned, I think it's a cracker. There's nothing wrong with this watch. Would I like to have a signed crown? Yes. Would I like to have a signed buckle and tang? Yes. Apart from that, it's a cracking little watch and this thing's also running well within spec as well at plus six seconds per day. You can't ask for any more than that, can you? Cracking little watch. If you want it, go grab it. I'll leave it there just now, guys. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell. It really, really does make a difference. So please remember to do that. All right. Thanks very much and I'll catch you again on the next one. Ta-ra for now.